Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to walk through the three different areas that you'll need to access in order to update your device. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our accounting structure is set up correctly. So go ahead and click over here on the clock and then tap settings. On the left hand side we're going to need to scroll down until you see accounts. You'll notice that I already have two accounts here and if your device was set up by somebody else, perhaps an IT department, uh, you will likely have a similar scenario. My first account is my Google account and my second account is my Samsung account. Now you'll notice that my Google account and my Samsung account look almost identical. They are uh, both tied to logicalchoicetech at gmail.com. Now what this is, is this gives my IT department access to my device so that they can push applications um, and they can also track my device um, as they see fit. So what we need to do is first off make sure that we only get the information that we need from this account. If you'll go ahead and tap on the account you'll notice that I'm actually synced up with the calendar, contacts, Gmail and so on for this account. Well since this account only exists so that my IT department can access my device, I really don't need access to all the rest of these things. So we're just going to go through and we're going to uncheck everything here. Now again, of course if your IT department has um, uh, told you to leave all these checked, please, uh, please consult them and make sure that you're following their policies. This is just our policy. So uh, now that that's all unchecked, let's go over to Samsung account. Now you can only have one Samsung account per device. The Samsung account is really used to uh, download new applications as well as work on um, updating existing ap applications. There is no push function through Samsung from a central office. So uh, all that's to say that if you are signed up with a corporate account here, you're going to need to remove that account first before we can proceed. So let's go ahead and click remove account then we're going to select remove account. Now that wipes it off of our device. Now what we need to do is add accounts. First thing we need to do is add a personal Google account. You can have multiple Google accounts on one device. So here uh, we're walking through our tutorial, I'm sorry our wizard, add a Google account. Uh, I already have an existing account. If you don't uh, have an existing account you'll need to sign into a new one or create a new one. You can do that either from this device or from a computer. As I mentioned, I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in here. And then I'm going to add my password. And the last thing we're going to do is uh, hit done. Now after you've hit done you'll get this dialog screen that says uh, uh, that asks you if you want to keep up with important updates. I always uncheck that because I don't need any more email. And then it will sign you in. At this point it's going to ask you if you'd like to sync all of these accounts. Well this being your device and that being your account it would benefit you to go ahead and sign up for all of these accounts. Uh, to sync your Google account with all of these various accounts. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to leave everything checked here and hit next. So now what you'll notice is if I look over here on accounts on the left hand side and I select Google you'll see that I have in fact two accounts. One where the sync is disabled and one where the sync is enabled and it's in fact syncing right now. So it's going to start pushing all of my uh, emails, my contacts, everything to this device. That takes care of the Google side. Now we need to work on Samsung. Again, on the left hand side here, click Add Account. Then from the drop down list, we're going to select Samsung Account. If you do not already have a Samsung account, please create a new one. It'll walk you through a wizard and that will get you all set up. For me, I already have one, so I'm going to sign in. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. We just add our email address and then add our password. and then click sign in. Now once you've signed in 
you'll be taken right back over to your settings, over to your accounts, and this time you're going to notice you have a Samsung account. And again, this will be syncing with your Samsung uh, information. Now, one more thing I want to point to your attention here before we leave. If you were to click on Add Account, you'll notice that I have access to quite a few additional account types here. I could have a single sign-on for Facebook, for my additional emails that are all uh, basically POP services. Uh, my Dropbox can be uh, placed here, as well as any kind of LDAP or Microsoft Exchange accounts. Uh, this is the section here um, where you're going to add any kind of accounts that you're looking for. Let's go ahead and tap out of here. Now that we have our account structure set, let's go ahead and look at the different places where we'll need to update our device. First off is right here in settings. On the left hand side, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select about device. From here, you're going to get information about the device. If you were to select software update, this will give you the option to update. And what that does is it actually checks for an update. If there is one, it gives you the option to update. I do have an update available, but I'm going to hit later so we can finish this video. Uh, if you do hit later, of course, it's going to ask you uh, when you want to be reminded. I think about an hour should do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the home button here on the lower left, and we're taken back to the home screen. Now from here, we've got access to a bunch of applications. Now, my home screen is customized to me. Your home screen will be customized to you. However, all of the applications lie right here in the upper right-hand corner in this 4x4 grid. So just go ahead and tap that. Make sure that your uh, setting here is under Apps. Your tab is Apps. And then from here, you can scroll through all of your applications. The first application we need to look at is the Play Store. So go ahead and click on Play Store. Since we're signed in, we have access to everything that we're, uh, all of our um, applications that we're looking for. In the upper right hand corner, we need to click on this download icon. From here, you're going to notice on the left hand side, these are all the updates that are available. They have both manual and automatic updates. You'll notice at the top here, I have all my automatic updates. And at the bottom here, I have my manual updates. And at the very bottom, these are the applications that are actually currently up to date. To update any of these, I can simply select Update, and my automatic updates will take care of themselves in sequential order. My manual updates are a little more tricky. I'm just going to tap on the application and then hit Update. So once you get done updating here, then we're going to go over to your last step and that is updating your Samsung apps. So let's assume that this is complete and we'll select the home button right here in the lower left hand corner. From here, go ahead and select, oh, <laughs> I get carried away there. Uh, my home screen has the Samsung apps, but let's go ahead and look at where it will be for everybody. Um, Samsung apps, again, is going to be in the, uh, in the applications directory here. So look for Samsung apps and select it. Now that you're signed into Samsung Apps, if it's your first time, it's going to ask you uh, what country it is that you're from, so, or that the device is being uh, used in. So I'm going to scroll all the way down, good old US of A, and select that. You'll get a dialog box that says that there are updates available, and you go ahead and hit OK. Now what this is going to do is it's actually going to walk you through the first few updates for Samsung. This basically updates uh, proprietary Samsung applications. There are also additional updates for any Samsung applications that you've purchased or downloaded from the Samsung App Store that you'll be able to access once the update is complete. Let's go back into Samsung Apps. So this is the Samsung Apps application. In the upper right hand corner, you'll notice this little head right here, and then there is a red dialog bubble that says the number three. That means I have three applications that need updating. If I were to select that, it will give me the three applications that I need to update. I can simply select Update All to update 
all of them, or I can update them individually. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any other questions at all, please don't hesitate to uh, send us a, a message or a reply here on the, our uh, YouTube page. Thank you very much for watching this.